teach followers welcome to the second part of this video and that is how to install all the other drivers to make this a compelling intel nuke device where you can do anything you need to do and uh, how to make it to work on audio so you can listen to youtube videos or do whatever you need to do on the server how to add the intel arc display adapter so you can set the resolution unlike a traditional server os and how to make this overall a compelling server or os that also can function like a desktop computer so yeah without further ado let's get into it again so here if you remember our last video we were at the stage where we did everything and we installed the ethernet adapt controller if you will and the con ethernet controller got installed and we are now at the stage where we are pretty much all you have to do is you know configure our static ip if we need to and we can do ping we can we can do anything we want to but i want us to go back to the device manager for a bit we still got a handful of drivers we gotta do or mess with and you can see all of those now a lot of this maybe five of them we're not able to get but we should be able to get most of them i want to enable the audio i also want to enable wireless card because this intel nukes are built in with a wireless card and so that's what we're going to do so let's go back to the folder we're going to go ahead and approach this one by one so the first the next thing we're going to install is going to be the wireless card you know driver that's what we're going to install click on that and double click wireless setup this one will not work right away until we add a future but we're going to install it and we're going to agree to the terms and condition hit install all this is going to do is it's going to put the driver onto the device but server 22 unlike a desktop clients will not work on wireless until we install the role for that. and it looks like this has actually failed to do something so i may have to do this again by installing the role or doing the update so that's fine we'll come back to this let's install the audio controller and we're gonna hit the setup a lot of this will require reboot and i'm not gonna go reboot them until we're ready to really reboot them because time that it takes to reboot and it's not worth it for us and it's gonna just go ahead search for it but if you go to the device manager you can see the audio controller is no longer there it's changing so it's changing to into high definition and eventually it's gonna basically fix the driver it's gonna update the driver so, so that's some of the easiest way you can do the driver but sometimes it does require you to be able to go ahead and actually you know do the driver as a manual install like we you are doing so it is really robust in that sense and so you just have to basically use you know whatever that's available to you sometimes the option that's available to you is not the best but you have to do what you got to do and so this is installed it requires us to reboot i'm just gonna say no restart my computer later and then the next thing we're gonna go ahead is you can see audio is enabled or installed but it's not gonna work right now the reason it's not gonna work is we still gotta do something and we're gonna do this now we're gonna go ahead and actually click on tools we're gonna click on services to get audio to work and then after that we're gonna go scroll down all the way to the bottom and we're gonna look for windows audio windows audio is over here you don't need this one you only need this this needs to be set to start automatically you need to click on properties and set change the started update to automatic and hit start or apply rather and then hit start and this should enable the audio now obviously this there's no speaker plugged into this thing right now so what i'm going to do is actually plug into my headphones see now the audio is plugged in and i can listen to anything i want to you can see that i can turn on the volume so that's how we had to do in the first one so now 
we're almost there. This is almost becoming a good experience for our desktop. So we can listen to videos. You know, we can do other things on the server. Now, I know a lot of you with the season IT experience may say, why are you doing this on the server? Well, this is a home lab. So for home lab, it's all about enjoyment. If you are in a corporate world, you'll never do this. Why? Because it's not security standard. You don't use your server for going to YouTube or other things. But for home lab, it's all about utilizing whatever resource you got. And I got, I don't, I don't have unlimited resources. So that for that reason, I'm making my workstation do more than just, a, you know, being a server like on a data center. So that's why we're doing this. It's also fun of it because. If we, there's a lot of things we can do for cool sake. So that's what we're doing it. The next thing I'm going to install is a chipset driver. So on the drivers, we're going to install the chipset and then we're going to double click. And this is going to also, you know, prompt. And we're going to hit next. And I'm going to simultaneously open the one. I hit accept, I'm going to open the device manager. or, And then we're going to see what it does to this. Some of it, they won't make a lot of changes, but this one, I believe you should be able to get that. And so you can see got another driver. So now we're halfway there. And we're going to just do later again. We're not going to reboot it yet. We're halfway there to our goal. So if you want to in your lab or you're in your house, you can reboot it. But I'm not going to reboot it because I want to get to all of them before I do that. So and then the next thing I'm going to install is this one. That's a graphic Intel Arc. I think I'm going to install that one later. It does take a long, a long time. Let's install this one next. And this one, I forgot what it was, what it does. I don't remember. Let's go back to the one I remember. We're going to click on the MF consumer. That's what we're going to install next. This one, I believe it was one of the chipsets or serial thing, but I, I could be wrong. It does take care of this. So the checklist should go from, if you look, pay attention to the device manager, it does take care of one of the drivers. But I, I, I stopped keeping track of it, stopped keeping track of it after a while. So so you can see hit next. And you should see this list get clear if you pay attention here. You can see it's already cleared it and it's installing that. So so yeah, so we're halfway there. And this thing also probably would require, it didn't require reboot. So thank God. So now we're, we're going to hopefully get down to only five devices that's what we're trying to aim so we're we're halfway there we're nearly there rather the next thing is this one the net oh, that's another thing for i was doing so the next thing we're going to do is serial io and we're going to do this again we're going to do next agree and now we, how many driver we have if we are missing here one two three four five six seven so we should down to go down to six on this and it's going to do the serial I.O. And actually it didn't do anything yet. It may need to reboot. So let's see here. Uh, I want to go back and do the wireless. But if I before I do the wireless, let's click on this one. Thunderbolt software. We're going to install this Thunderbolt software. I don't think this one was uh, checking any driver, but I could be wrong. So you can see it's requiring a restart. Okay, there you go. The Thunderbolt software checked two of them actually. So now we're down to how many? One, two, three, four, five. So actually, I was right. I was wrong. We're gonna be down to by the time we finish installing the wireless, we're gonna be down to four drivers that we cannot find anything for. And then this one, UM UEM. I don't know what that one was. I some of them I just decided it. It doesn't, if it didn't matter, it didn't matter. I didn't really focus on it, but we need to do the, this one. And then we're going to come back to the wireless. So this is a chip. This is the Intel Arc one, not this one, but the other one after it, this is the Intel Arc. This is the graphic one. So we're going to install this one. This is going to take some time. And this one is just a software application. So it's not going to do anything. You can see begin application installation. And it's going to go through a lot of checks. Our Intel Nuke is already looking better. And uh, we're starting to have the seamless desktop experience. Obviously, the Bluetooth driver, I still got to update it because you see it's not really up to date. And once we update that, we're slowly but surely converting this to a desktop, you know, that we can use 
for server workload. Obviously, some people may say, why not just do Hyper-V on a Windows 11 and then keep everything the same? What is the fun in that, right? The fun is supposed to be being able to do like failover cluster, do all those awesome things without having to manage client OS and stuff. So, and I don't like, you know, the client OS aspect of it. You know, if you want to do that on a, like from time to time, yes, but I feel like when you do the server itself, it just gives you some nice experience. And my screen decided to extend itself. So I'm going to have to change it back to duplicate because this display driver, it really works. As you can see, we've got a resolution that we can access high up optimal resolution, but I want to go back and change it from extended display to duplicate display and then keep the changes. And you can see now I went from, you know, 19, 22, 38, 40 to 2160. So, and I can do extended desktop and all those stuff. So just like you will do your, with your regular windows and it requires a reboot. We're not going to do reboot. Sorry, no reboot for us. And it's actually launching Intel Arc, so we don't want that. So, obviously, all this thing that's saying reboot, I should be rebooting it, but I'm just going to go with the flow. And the next, I'm going to get the wireless. We missed the wireless last time. Let's click on the wireless again on our Intel Nuke. We're going to hit next. We're going to hit I agree, install. Last time it failed, and we may have to reboot this, but I'm trying to not do it. Yeah, we're going to have to reboot this. But before we actually do it, let's do this on the server manager. We got to install that wireless feature. Okay, and hit next. So basically on the server manager, go to, you know, that the server manager dashboard, add a role, next, next next and then you're gonna select next to get to the features page and you're gonna select the wireless LAN adapter or service rather next install by doing this this server will be able to pick up the wireless card after we install the driver and it will also work with the wireless should we decided that we want to upgrade our lab server on a wireless and i like that flexibility because if i decided that i want to plug it into my garage or somewhere else i love the fact that i don't have to carry cables back and forth and so forth so that's gonna make it easy for me so i'm gonna hit close definitely needs to be rebooted right now but let's test this one last time before i reboot it because the role can get installed without me rebooting it and i'm just gonna be stubborn and because I don't want to reboot it and unless I really, really have to. And I really have to reboot it. Yep, let's reboot it. It's all right. You win. It's going to be restart. And it's going to do all these things now. Restart anyway. Once he comes back, we should be able to technically go ahead and actually get the rest of the drivers we need and I, don't, I i lost track of the video i don't know how long this is now but i think once we get to a certain point you get the idea i'm just gonna cut it and uh, i'll come back with more videos so but it's it's a adventure yeah it looks like my wireless keyboard battery died unfortunate and i was blaming it on the intel nuke earlier so we're going to go ahead and use the analog or the old wired keyboard. Now that we're here, and before we all do anything else, let's go to file or file explorer and uh, let's go to the, this PC properties and let's click on device manager. So you can see I'm missing one, two, three, four, five. So I'm still missing a couple things. So let's get the wireless now. Click on the ISO where my drivers are at. And let's launch this wireless. 
It should be working now. Unless I got the wrong driver entirely. I was messing with a lot of things, so let's see if I got the right driver. And it's working. And that's all we needed to do. So you can see, now I end up with four drivers that we cannot find. I could find it if I put my hearts and mind to it, but I don't want to. But I do want to get rid of, get take care of the Bluetooth one. So can I take care of the Bluetooth one before I have to leave here? Call the video end of the day. I don't think I can though because I didn't copy it. I don't think. Is this it? No. I didn't copy that driver. It's all right though. It's just a Bluetooth. I won't be using it that much. It is not that big deal, but I just was going to do it for you guys. But anyway, so that's how to go ahead and convert your Intel Nuke. And which I did in this case from having no driver on running server 22 to having most and if not all, all the drivers. And all you have to do is go to the Intel Nuke driver support website and download the drivers, do what I just did. And we're now ready to do this awesome labs. Hopefully you have fun with it. Obviously, don't forget, if you're in doubt, adjust your date and time. I don't live in PST time zone. And you always need to change it to your EST where you're at. And you also need to run your Windows updates. Don't forget that. The best server is the server that's up to date. And it's happy server. That's what you call it. So you're going to go ahead and install the updates. So in the next video, we're going to do more of this. So I hope this video was helpful. Give you some more ways to utilize your Intel Nuke for labs, for some excitement demos, some more educational frontier. Thank you for watching IT Skills and have a great rest of the day. Take care.